everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Spay and this is my world. Today's topic is make better choices when it comes to men. Make better choices when it comes to men. Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now let's dive into this topic. Make better choices when it comes to men. All right, we do have a letter. And let's see what she says. She entitles this letter, Was It Love? My sister basically married a bum. He lived at home with his elderly father. No car, worked as a janitor, only had about 7K saved. My sister had her own apartment, car, and was making about 45K. Neither one of them have kids. Well, <laughs> number one, looks like your sister dated down, which is a big no-no. Okay? Never date down. They dated for a few months, and she eventually moved him in with her. That's, a, that's two no-nos. Don't let a man move in with you. They were married within a couple of years. None of us understood what she saw in him. He couldn't protect her or provide for her if his life depended on it. Well, apparently... She just wanted a man. She settled. She just wanted somebody. So she took him. And eventually everything my sister worked so hard for dwindled away. That's what happens, ladies. When you choose a man who has less than you. He's going to live off you. He's going to use up all of your resources. And a lot of times, this is why these men hook up with you in the first place. When they see that you are making a decent salary, decent living for yourself, you got a car, home, salary, and they don't have it, they look for women like you. I uh, remember uh, I dated a man who had uh, sons, and he was teaching his sons to date women that had money. They didn't have that much. But dating women that had money, instead of teaching his sons to be more ambitious and make a decent living for themselves, that they can provide for a woman. He didn't teach him that. He was teaching them to live off women. That's wrong. About five years later, she got pregnant and decided to leave. Well, <laughs> well wait a minute. <laughs> but when she left, she used his information to get an apartment for her and her unborn child. She even allowed him to come. So, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute here. All right. They got married. He's using up all her resources. And apparently, they must have lost the apartment that she had. So now, she decides to leave him and get another apartment. She decides to leave him and get another apartment. She even allowed him to come. I don't understand that. If you're with a man, <laughs> married, and he cannot provide a roof over your head, why would you leave him? Go get another place and then bring him along. I, I don't understand that. No, that, that's a very bad choice. That number three. <laughs> she stayed at the apartment for a couple of months because when she left, he had to live in his car and it was very hot that summer. Well, who cares <laughs> if he had to live in his car? Listen. He's a bum. He's getting what he deserves. He doesn't 
deserve to be inside a home if he can afford one. So a few more months went by before he eventually found out she got a place using his information. Okay, let's go back here. You say that she got an apartment for her and her unborn child. About five years later, she got pregnant and decided to leave. But when she left, she used his information to get an apartment for her and her unborn child. She even allowed him to come, stay at the apartment for a couple of months because when she left, he had to live in his car and it was very hot. So she felt sorry for him because it was hot and he didn't have a place to live. So she allowed him to come and live in her apartment. But the, the tricky thing was he did not realize that she used his information to get the apartment. So now by the time their son had been born, he had her arrested. He didn't ask for explanation or anything. So for a few months went by before he eventually found out that she got the place using his information. By this time, their son was born. He had her arrested. I know what she did was wrong, but I just feel like he could have tried to work it out with her without involving the police in courts, especially after everything she has done for him and his family. He was so bitter, he contested the divorce and even attended every criminal court date she had regarding the apartment even though he didn't have to be there. My sister feels like he was just acting out of hurt, but I keep trying to tell her he never loved her in the first place. Your sister should listen. This isn't love. He was only using her in the first place. He had nothing to give her, no offer at all. He was living off her the whole time. When all of her money was gone and she had to get an apartment, I guess she had to use his information to qualify for the apartment. When he found out, right, then he wanted to get her arrested for using his information. But the thing about it was, weren't they still married? As long as they were still married, I don't understand why it went to court anyway. I don't understand that part. Okay. But he he went to court trying to work this whole thing out. My sister feels like he was just acting out of hurt. No, that's just who he is. He's petty. That's who he is. It wasn't that he was hurt. He's no good. You made a very bad choice. He has never done anything for her other than forget her birthday and make her feel secondary on holidays. He is the epitome of a boy in a man's body. Because how and why would you do that to someone you love, especially if they just had your child? Listen, ladies, <laughs> ladies, understand this. A child does not make a man love you. Having a child is not going to do it. All right. I know ladies will have a child to try to keep a relationship together. That's a bad choice. It does not work. It doesn't work. The man needs to bond with you. Now, your sister, you know, you're writing the letter for your sister. And it's really nothing that you can do about it. Anyway, it's your sister's choice. No matter what you say to her, no matter how much you t try to tell her about this man, it's going to be her decision. And apparently she didn't listen to you because she had a child five years after being with the man. And I know he was no good during those five years. So she finds herself in a difficult situation and I still Again, I don't understand how he was able to take her to court, get her arrested, 
if they were still married and she got an apartment in his name. I don't understand the legalities of that. I don't know how that happened. You see, I thought that a wife and a husband, a wife could use the husband's information to get an apartment. But anywho, anywho, uh, some of you folks who are in the legal system can clear that part up. But as far as your sister, she made very bad choices. Number one, with the man that she chose. Ladies, you have this power. You don't have to choose every man that approaches you. And, and then you're going to act like, you know, what a wonderful opportunity this is. And you may never get this opportunity with another man again. So you're going to settle with him. Don't do it. Never settle. But first, you got to know your worth. You got to know your value. And know what you would put up with and what you won't put up with. If a man does not meet your financial level, if he does not meet that, pass him by. Pass him by. Listen, I've dated a broke man before. Men that I thought I really liked. Handsome men. Good looking men. But they were broke. Broke. They wanted me to take care of them. That's no good. That's no good. These men just use you. Take advantage of you. Use up all of your resources. And then they'll dump you and go on to someone else. And do the same thing over and over again. And like I told you, I met a man. He's an older man. Teaching his young sons how to use and abuse women. Look for a woman who's got this, who's got the house, who's got the car, who's got the everything. You see? Because that's the way the dad lived his life. And he was training his sons to do the same thing. Ladies, be careful of these men. I don't care how they look. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they just fell on hard times. Then you talk to them when they get back on good times. Don't deal with a man if he has less than you. He will only pull you down. Ladies, I hope that you understand this message. And I really hope that it helps someone. Make better choices when it comes to men. Number one, don't settle. If he cannot meet you financially, if he does not have what you have or better, pass him by. Don't date him. He's not for you. He cannot provide for you. If he does not come with an offer, pass him by because he have nothing to offer. He's coming to take. You want a man who's coming to provide for you, to protect you, to be your support. These men are looking to you for that, for them. They're not looking to give. Be careful of your choices. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Know your worth and know your value. I hope that you understand the message today. And I really hope that it helps someone. Now, those of you who may have a question that you would like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And if you're looking for today's affirmation, the link is also in the description. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.